I'm curious whether or not you really believe that this is a life-threatening situation for one or both of you. I 100% believe it's a life-threatening situation for both of us. Okay, so you really think th this could get so violent that she could aggress against you and one of you wind up dying either intentionally or accidentally? Oh, that, I, I know that's what's going to happen. Yeah, you did. No, I never yeah, said you that. Did. My 18-year-old daughter, Cassidy, is totally out of control. She's aggressive, she's abusive, and she's self-destructive. You're getting high! You're getting drunk! One minute, Cassidy is totally fine, and the next minute, she's calling me a whore, a bitch, a slut. Cassidy was bullied for most of her life due to her weight. After this huge transformation, her attitude changed. When she hit high school, everything just went downhill. She started hanging around with the wrong crowd. I knew something was gonna happen, but I get the blame, of course. I was losing control. I really didn't know how to handle it. Things escalated about a year ago, and she became physically abusive. You're fighting every day! Cassidy has assaulted me at least 10 times. It could start off as a slap, then a punch. I've been pushed around, spit on. I can still call the police if all you, of the time. Yeah, if you... I have called the police at least 200 times over the last three years. Sometimes I have to call the police three times in one day. About a week ago, she started screaming and yelling at me on the phone. Then I started receiving texts, die whore, die bitch, my boyfriend's coming over to kill you, you're dead meat. This has just become a normal part of my life. I worry about Cassidy because she's continually putting herself in harm's way. She hangs out in drug houses, she drinks alcohol, she hangs around with criminals. Our police department placed a restraining order on Cassidy. She broke those conditions twice and the police came to arrest her. I'm fearful that she will die if she's not with me, but I'm fearful if she's with me, she'll end up killing me. Well, Cassidy says her mother is just an attention seeker and is not the super mom that she wants people to believe she is. My mom is aggressive, intimidating. You and your friends are f hate all of you! She's an attention seeker. She posts way too much on social media and cares way too much about her looks. I think of my mom as a sister or a friend that I have to live with. She was violent towards me a few times, but when I turned into a teenager, that's when we would both get into physical fights with each other. Growing up, she wasn't there for me emotionally. She didn't support me as well as she could have. If you were it every call? day, then why'd you say in my face, oh, you should kill yourself? Why would I want you to die? If I wanted you dead, if, do you think my life would be actually easier? Ah, she exposed herself! When I was 16, my mom and I would party. I thought it was cool because it was like, wow, she's my mom and she's my best friend. Cassidy has claimed that I've partied with her, and this is totally untrue. I didn't want my mom to find out that my friends were doing cocaine, and she walked down and she said, it's fine if it's in my house, if I can have a line. I knew it was overstepping a boundary, but I didn't think things would turn out like this. Things started escalating into doing Molly and then Xanax and pills. Cassidy and her friends are jealous of me. They feel I'm a threat around the boys that they like. They think I'm prettier than they are, and they don't like that. The guys my age think she's a hot mom. Some of Cassidy's male friends tried to flirt with me. They've asked me out on dates. Of course, I don't pursue any of these advances. She slept with one of my friend's ex-boyfriends. Everyone was on drugs when it happened. My friend was bawling. She was in love with this guy, and I just couldn't believe my mom did this. That's when I knew things were really out of control. Okay, it's good to have you both here, and I'm curious whether or not you really believe that this is a life-threatening situation for one or both of you? I 100% believe it's a life-threatening situation for both of us. Okay, so you really think th this could get so violent that she could aggress against you and one of you wind up dying either intentionally or accidentally? Oh, that, I, I know that's what's going to happen. Okay, what do you think? Do you think this is a really volatile situation? <clears throat> no, I don't think it's a life or death situation. She's let me live on the sh live on the streets for months without contacting me, having me blocked. She didn't even care.